welcome to Frat Props and Gaming. Today I will be making some Harry Potter notebooks. For our two books, we're going to start off with one for, with a Dumbledore quote. Your first step is just to trim your template slightly so it fits on the page. Next step is just to get a piece of tracing paper. I like to use the clear, the white tracing paper so it's more e easily covered later. So just line up your paper and your template. Try and line it up in the middle as much as you can. And then all you need to do is trace the words onto the page. Just with a ballpoint pen. I like to use red because it shows up a lot easier. Once you've got all your letters traced, put your tracing paper aside and you should be able to see clearly all the letters. The next step is to grab out your sharpies. For this one you need a purple, black and gold. Now to start with, all the largest words need to be done in black sharpie. So just simply trace over your lines with the Sharpie. Take your time here because you don't want, you can't undo it later. Okay, once you're finished with the black, move on to the gold. Your final step is to fill in all the remaining words with a purple sharpie. This one's a fine tip to make it easier. And once you've done that, your book is complete. Your final step is just to cover it in some clear plastic. We'll now move on to a smaller book, which I'm going to do in a Luna Lovegood theme. Now the first step for this one is again to cut out your pattern. For this I'm using an embroidery pattern. So just cut neatly around the circle, doesn't have to be perfect. Now obviously for this one we're going to make Luna's glasses. So I'm just going to make them with some pink foam. Now it's very important to Again, trace the pattern, but make sure you're tracing it on the reverse side so you won't see the white later on. So just go ahead and trace it all the way around Luna's glasses. Obviously not with your book underneath. <laughs> okay. Once you've got Luna's glasses traced out, just cut them out. Okay, once you've got it all cut out, the next step is to trace the eyes. So grab your template again, and I have some shiny pink and some shiny blue paper here. So again, do your tracing on the opposite side. And I just trace around the inside of the circle. So you want one of each colour. Obviously making sure you're tracing papers underneath. And then simply cut out your circles. Now you don't have to go exactly in the line, you want a little bit of overlap so you can glue them into the glasses. But not too far because you don't want to see them poking out the edge. Now for this one, I'm just going to rub off the, as much of the tracing powder as I can so you can't see it later. Once you've got your two circles, grab some double-sided tape and attach them to the inside of your glasses. Okay, 
There you have it. Once you've got your glasses made, set them aside. Grab your book again with your tracing paper. Now, try as best as you can to line up the pattern in the middle of the book. Just being sure to get everything on the page. Now for this part you want to trace all the words and just a couple pieces of Luna's glasses so you can line that up for later. Once you've got your tracing done, grab out your Sharpies again. For this one you need purple, blue and pink. And you just want to alternate the words. So starting off with your purple. Once you've gone, done that, go ahead and add your little star decorations just with the different coloured sharpies. Once you've done that, grab your glasses again, just line them up as best you can and stick them down with some double sided tape. Once you've done that, grab some clear plastic film. and cover the book. Just like if you would if you were using contact. And that one is done. Okay, thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe to our channel.